Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to be unboxing and we'll take a quick look at this Silence uh, PC cooler. It's a 100 millimeter uh, CPU cooler for a HTPC. So it's one of them that will be spread out more across the uh, bottom of the socket and not very tall as you can tell by the box. It's designed for use in HTPC cases and other low profile compact cases. We've got less than 18 decibels, which is pretty cool on a 100 millimeter fan. Take a look here, aluminum base, aluminum fins. So we don't have a copper base, which is a little, that's too bad. But, let's see, interestingly enough, we have 8 to 24 decibels there. And in the front, we have less than 18 decibels. There's a fluid dynamic bearing. Here's our compatibility list here. Then on the back, we have a cooling performance. Perfect for low to mid-range CPUs. Okay, now gives a good look at the box. Kind of a lot going on for such a uh, small packaging. Okay, so we've got a piece of cardboard and here's our installation guide. And then the cooler itself. Wow, it's definitely different than I expected. It's quite a quite a pretty it's pretty good size here. So we have a uh, three pin fan header here, no PWM. We've got a green fan and here is the retention uh, clip mechanism for AMD. The uh, bottom, yes, it's definitely not, uh, it's not smooth, of course it is aluminum so, but it's not smooth, I can definitely feel, uh, I can feel the, uh, as it was uh, cut, I guess, I can feel uh, ridges here so definitely would be extremely important to use a good thermal compound on this to fill in these gaps because there is several gaps on that cut right there so we have this aluminum fin system it's fairly thin um, probably could cut yourself pretty easy on them or bend these very easily as well too then we have the conversion plate to convert it to an intel socket uh, with the pins in here and then this would hold on the motherboard so it would pretty much kind of convert it to the AMD uh, mounting system and it looks like you could mount it either here here or here so you definitely could do it that way or that way uh, I'm not sure what difference it would make it doesn't seem to make a difference as far as clearance goes but uh, it is more than one way to mount that and then here are the pins that you would need uh, for the Intel uh, socket there. So the little white pins would go in there, then the black pins would go inside the white pins. So when you put it on the motherboard, snap it into place, it would go through the motherboard and secure it to the board itself, the Intel only. And there's some heat sink compound in there as well. And then that would be it for the packaging. So, we'll take a 12 volt power supply here and see what it sounds like at 12 volts. Well, you know what? It's actually going to be a little more difficult than I thought to, um, so it doesn't hit the, um, hmm, see if I can make this happen without hitting the retention bracket, because the retention bracket does not appear to come out. Okay, so I have to kind of simulate the fact that it would be plugged in. Let's give this another shot here. Alright, so I'll hold it down. That fan definitely moves a lot of air across. It looks like an 80 mil fan. Um, being that the rest of it's 100 millimeters, I would guess that's 80 millimeters. 
And it is fairly loud as well, too. But of course, this is at 12 volts, so this would be maximum cooling. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not, but... Definitely see if I can do this without uh, cutting my finger off. Definitely moves a lot of air. Okay, and I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the green. Um, it doesn't appear that this fan could be, well, it could be replaced, I guess, removing those screws. But you'd have to find a fan very similar to this to be able to replace it. It wouldn't just take any, any old 80mm uh, fan, which is what I'm going to assume that... This is an 80 millimeter fan. Did we get any? See if we got any confirmation on that. Don't believe we did. Oh, excuse me. 100 millimeter fan. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I assumed on here 100 millimeter. I thought it would be 100 millimeter across the whole thing. So it's a 100 millimeter fan with a 122 millimeter uh, uh, fin. Okay, that makes more sense. So we have a 100 millimeter fan. So that does move quite a bit of air. Uh, it has a little noisy, but it's not the loudest fan I've ever heard. It's probably still quieter than a stock fan. So anyway, that will uh, wrap up my unboxing and quick look at this Silence CPU cooler for mini computers or HTPCs. And as always, thank you for watching.